to uh, have your video on or off. You don't have to face this video. You can, it's more of an auditory thing. Um, and uh, kind of a little bookmark in our busy I'm back. You guys are so patient, I tell you. So I don't know where I was when we left, when I left you, but just know I love you and I'm glad you carved out this time. And I love your patience. I don't have all the answers um, why that keeps happening, but I think we're good for now. So find yourself in a beautiful sense of this is your home, this is your space. When you close your eyes, have them open, you'll be laying down upright, whatever feels good, but just turn to yourself and, to, and decide that this is this sort of welcoming time for you and your mindful practice. Take some deep breaths as you center your focus on the sensations of the air coming through your nostrils. Maybe it's cool on the way in. Maybe you're noticing it's the, the movement of your diaphragm as you exhale. Find a little lift in lightness, kind of drawing your heart up, especially with the inhales. And then find the relaxed sensation, especially when you exhale, sort of settling in here. I'm practicing our mindfulness here today, reflect a little bit on purpose, clarity of purpose. When we're going, going, we don't often pause and, and maybe take in the why behind the doing. Really, it's the driver of the things we do. Here we can practice this skill. It's, it is a skill just like awareness is. 
noticing, but pausing in that choice is the simple step, albeit there's the challenge to just step aside from the doing and pause and notice. Let's see the purpose. And with that little step, it's something that we can grow from. There are often different purposes that might be behind your actions throughout the day, of course, for different parts of your life. We can practice a little self-inquiry and dig a little into those motivations and connect to the bigger part of our well-being and help us learn to grow from adversity. With a stronger sense of purpose, studies have shown we tend to be more satisfied with our life, our income, a little less likely to judge our lives by how much we make or judge others. There's science behind us. That's some resilience. How easy we bounce back from the ups and downs. How we recover from getting riled up from a stressful conversation, argument, or a life challenge. And so having a strong sense of purpose helps us cope with those situations and build that resiliency. It's an important ingredient in your well-being. Having that sense of purpose. So pause now and reflect a little bit on who you admire, who might be inspirational in your life at present or from a few years back, could be somebody from your childhood or adolescence, a few people or one. Perhaps some people are devoted to a cause or, or a higher calling. Or maybe they're just inspiring because of how they live their own life. Pick one and reflect why they might inspire you. And then keep asking why. Sometimes a couple of rounds of that opens up a deeper purpose, not just at the top layer. When we look at people like that tend to be inspirational, we tend to forget their human sides and that they too have ups and downs. But they probably have these motivations to keep them going on those tougher days as well.
And now turn your focus from that reflection to just a restful state. And just open awareness, begin again, perhaps focusing on sounds or feelings, your body, or just turn to your breath. Whatever works for you in this moment. Open your lens and come back to that breath. Maybe your pause at the moment was very spacious and open, or maybe you find yourself caught up in thought, which is natural. Just notice that and bring yourself back to where you left off. Step off that little train of thoughts. Give yourself a little distance and sort of revel in the space between. Let's go a little deeper into inspiring people around you that make you want to be a better person. You can choose the same person or someone different. Let's reflect. What guides them forward based on what you know about them? Why did this person come to your mind? Is it random or is there something about their purpose that's meaningful to you? Looking at your own life, big or small, what are the things that you might do that are linked to the same purpose? The fact that that person inspires you says something about you. And now connect with your breath and relax. Be open. Be aware, be here with your breath. And that self-care. Maybe feeling a little more connected with those important drivers of your life, your, your purpose, multiple purposes. Even the mundane activities can be connected to purpose. I mean, washing the dishes can be driven from a sense of caring. It goes beyond just clean dishes, it might link to 
your health and then it might link to someone else's health or appreciation of what you have, taking care of each other. Even the mundane, when we pause and consider the why now and again, we can feel our sense of well-being, connect with our purpose. Breathing in that sense of grace, breathing out a little gratitude, and share it the rest of your day. Namaste. Take care. <laughs>